Hello and welcome to my studio. I'm Helen Alice and I am a landscape painter who shows you what I've been up to in the life of an artist every week. Uh, I haven't actually done an awful lot of painting this week because I've been busy doing paperwork, but what I have done is managed to get out for a couple of days to Laval in France and managed to do a little bit of artwork while I was there. This is what the life of an artist is all about. I have been here before. I came here in 2022 as part of my uh, garden series. Visited a beautiful garden, uh, the Jardin des Cordeliers, I think it's called. Anyway, gonna go and have a look at that now. It's early November but this garden never fails to disappoint and um, what you can't actually portray over the video is the fact that it also smells beautiful. One of the things that I love about gardens, and um, in particular this garden, is the colour. And this one just has it no matter when you come, it's amazing. I'm just saying goodbye to my friend for another year and I'm um, going to have another look at the cathedral. I'm going in to check out those stained glass windows because uh, if you are a regular on my YouTube channel, you will know that I absolutely love colour and I love pattern. So what better place to be than in a cathedral? I'm quite excited because I've just found an Annunciation painting and I spent a whole summer one year touring France and Italy looking for a whole range of Annunciation paintings. I don't know who painted this, but I shall do a bit of research later on and uh, let you know when I find out. One of the things I like about stained glass is it often depicts a very, very depressing message and yet it does so with bright colour, almost as if it's asking us to remain optimistic. got one last place to visit and that is the Castle Museum, the um, Musée de Chateau. Not sure what to expect but I'm liking the fact that it's got a very colourful picture on the sign. So we've just come inside and I'm unbelievably excited by this artist. This amazingly is gouache on paper. It looks like embroidery threads. Might be because we've just seen an embroidery bit as we've walked in, so it's in my head. The tiny, tiny little threads, all different colours. And the thing that I'm most excited about is I'm interested in um, getting kind of plant life and examining it under a microscope, getting it at a, a, a kind of minute level to then be able to create patterns that form the basis of my underpaintings. And I imagine that they'll look a little bit like this when they're under the microscope. The last time I saw any Japanese art up close was in Giverny, in uh, Monet's uh, house and gardens at Giverny. There's something really rather magical about Japanese art. A 
hugely enjoyed that uh, visit around the museum gallery. Completely inspired me and can't wait now to get back into my sketchbook and uh, have a little experiment with some things. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you like what you saw, uh, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, press the subscribe button, bottom right. And also check out my website and subscribe to my mailing list. You'll get all the up-to-date uh, offers and things that I'm up to on there. I will be back in the UK next week, so watch out for me there. In the meantime, have a great time wherever you are.